Most people are ruled either by their thoughts or their feelings. There are some who allow their emotions and moods to dictate their responses in life. Then there are some who turn off their feelings and strictly live by logic and reason. Like Spock from Star Trek, they make decisions purely based on facts. However, neither feelings nor thoughts should be the masters of your life. They both should be your servants, enabling you to respond instead of react to both the negative and positive things that happen to you. Both thoughts and feelings can be misleading and deceptive. In fact, thoughts and feelings are very much connected. A feeling is nothing more than a thought that's expressed as an emotion in the body. Most feelings, good and bad, start in the mind as a thought. But what if there's a place within you that's deeper than both thought and feeling, that's intended to help guide you to peace and fulfillment? There is such a place, and it's called by different names. Some call it consciousness, some call it awareness, and some call it the human spirit. Regardless of its label, I believe it's the real you that's hidden behind the white noise of endless thoughts and feelings. It is a place of stillness that births true creativity and should be the engine behind your thoughts and feelings. It can only be accessed when you learn to withdraw from the constant stream of thoughts that race through your mind every day, creating feelings and moods that come and go. There is the possibility for you to experience constant peace and contentment regardless of what's happening to you or around you. Lao Tzu, the ancient wise philosopher who wrote the Tao said, to the mind that is still, the whole universe surrenders. One day I'm a winner, the next day I'm down. I feel like a king, then I feel like a clown. I'm feeling discouraged and then feeling strong, my feelings revealing that something is wrong. And so I ignored them and turned to my head my thoughts and ideas would lead me instead. However, again, I was tossed all about with wild speculations, with theories and doubt. And then I discovered in stillness the key. My thoughts and my feelings were lying to me. And now I am freed by the truth I embrace. I can't change myself, but I'm transformed by grace. Transformation has been experienced in the life of many people and can be experienced in the life of every individual, including you. But not everyone's willing to pay the price for it to take place. Just as a seed has to fall into the dark stillness of the earth and be broken open, just like the caterpillar has to enter the dark stillness of the chrysalis before it can emerge as a butterfly, so you must be willing to descend beneath the constant chatter of endless thought into the stillness of your own human spirit. There you will find a space that enables the seed to become a tree, enables the caterpillar to become a butterfly. It is a grace that will free you from the former masters of a chattering mind and feelings and moods that controlled your life. A grace that sets you free to be who you are.